You could kick off the World Cup tomorrow on this turf. The stadium air conditioning in here works perfectly. But the questions about how these gleaming stadiums have been built and how many migrant lives have been lost will not stop. How do you reassure people that the workers have been treated well? Well, we have a uh, worker welfare uh, colleague. Uh, we have a lot of people working to support this kind of uh, uh, proper action. Qatar! The controversies that started when Qatar won the tournament back in 2010 are still dividing FIFA members who met in Doha on the eve of the draw. There is no room for employers who do not secure the freedom and safety of World Cup workers. No room for hosts that cannot legally guarantee the safety and respect of LGBTQ plus people coming to this theater of dreams. The more that human rights or inclusiveness are mentioned, the more defensive the hosts here are becoming. One Qatari executive said that the head of the Norwegian FA should have gone to him first to educate herself better. The England manager Gareth Southgate is just one of several coaches who acknowledge that Qatar's laws that criminalize homosexuality could deter LGBT plus fans. The organizers have said repeatedly, everyone is welcome. It's kind of uh, an issue when you just base an opinion that you're very vocal about on things that you have read. Somebody with a lot of influence, such as Southgate, somebody with a, a big audience that listens to what he says, has got to pick his words very carefully. FIFA argue that it's precisely because the World Cup is coming here that workers' rights and contracts have dramatically improved over the past decade. And you know, when I hear some of the comments by some people who say, well, the World Cup shouldn't go there because uh, the Arab world and uh, they have no tradition. You know, who, who says it? The ball doesn't belong to anyone. The ball belongs to everyone. England are among the favorites. Scotland or Wales could still make it. If they do, they'll be joining FIFA's football family gathering, a family that really does have issues. Tom Parmenter, Sky News, Qatar.